Well, hello and welcome back to our dollhouse miniatures tutorials. I hope you enjoyed rooms one and two of our overall dollhouse project. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the lower room of the Lexington, which we have decorated as a cupcake shop. Now, as I was saying in the previous episodes, one of the things we really enjoy doing is to personalize the rooms in our dollhouse to make them more meaningful to the person who owns the dollhouse. This dollhouse happens to be in my mother's home. So in this cupcake shop, this happens to be a room for me. My girlfriend and I uh, wa have always wanted to open a cupcake shop and, and in reality that's never going to happen. So. Uh, it made sense that I would decorate a room to depict the dream job I, I'll never have. So the two characters in the room represent myself and my best friend. And this is our dream cupcake shop. We've decorated it with uh, wallpaper that is the border has cupcakes on it. We've uh, used all kinds of interesting things to make it look as though you can bake in the shop as well as sell the goods. We made these stools out of wooden plank, little wooden circular pieces, a rubber wheel, and then a, just a metal bar, and we glued them to the floor so we have these stools here. We also um, got creative with the windows in the back. On the window on the left here, you can see a little bistro set set up back there. We wanted to give the illusion that there was outside seating to our cupcake shop. We have our ovens on the wall. We have our mixing stations filled with flour and eggs and everything we would need. Even a KitchenAid mixer is in there. In the other window, we've done that, uh, the same illusion that we did in our dining room by taking a photograph and printing it on a transparency. So looking through that, and we've backlit the window again from behind the dollhouse, it looks like a seating area in a, in a garden. So you might wonder where we get all of this uh, fake food <laughs> that you see in this cupcake shop. Well, I have to tell you the internet is very resourceful when coming to dollhouse miniatures. Most of the food stuff that is in the cupcake shop actually came from China, uh, but you can find most anything from sushi to you name it. Um, so we were able to outfit our cupcake shop quite nicely with all kinds of baked goods. Uh, there's a cabinet, a curio cabinet in the back that we actually had found a wedding cake and different birthday cakes and so it's been really fun to add things along here. Now the woman in the corner who's holding a, a pie is supposed to be my best friend's mother. We always thought that our mothers would get in the act in this in this adventure of a cupcake shop. So that's her mother. She she said that the only role she would take would be the baking. So we uh, we have her represented in there as well. Now the character that is depicting me, the doll that we found, actually had blonde hair. I don't have blonde hair, and I have uh, a few gray streaks peeking through. So. You might notice that we touched my hair up a little bit with gray hair just to kind of make it a little more realistic. <laughs> my husband thinks that's terrible, but <laughs> it's the truth. And we also put the um, the aprons on us to, to make it look more unified that we were working for um, yeah, a business. So... In the curio cabinet, we did, you know, we're always trying to come up with innovative ways to, you know, make this dollhouse really stand out. And one of the things we did was we drilled a hole right through the curio cabinet and right through the bottom of the dollhouse. 
so that we actually have uh, a light in the drawer of the unit that the dollhouse sits on so we can shine light up through the cabinet as as if it were lit just like a uh, a regular pastry cabinet might be. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the cupcake shop and as we move along to other rooms. In the next episode we're going to be talking about the kitchen in the dollhouse and this kitchen is the dream kitchen my mother always wanted.